Good day, viewers. This is Healing the Hurting, Fulfilling God's Purpose, Glorifying God. God bless you for being part of today's episode. We appreciate that you're watching, and we pray that God will keep encouraging you, and he will keep increasing you on every side. In whichever area you are hurting, we are trusting, or we trust God, that God will heal you. God will make you whole. He will give you peace, and he will give you joy. The Lord will give you a divine turnaround and divine intervention in Jesus' mighty name. As to watch today's episode, believe God for you that your prayers shall be answered. You will have victory. You will have breakthrough. The Lord will make you whole. The anointing of God will destroy the yoke in your life in Jesus' mighty name. And you shall go forward in Jesus' name. Now, today, we are continuing from where we stopped last week and our topic of discussion is fear. Fear. What a strange topic. But it's something that is common to almost everybody. And um, you can have fear of God, which is not what we are looking at now. And you can also have fear of situation, fear of persons, fear of times, fear of events. Whatever it is, those other second fear is not of God. And you must get rid of them. The only fear that we should have is the fear of the Lord, which is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of God is excellent. It makes your life perfect. So that one is a good one. But any other fear outside that is not of God. And you and I must get rid of such fear forever in the name of Jesus. If we must reach our goal, if we must fulfill our destiny, fear must go. Now, before we uh, pray, let me show you something quickly because I just feel I should show you right away and then we're going to pray now. In Luke chapter 1, Luke chapter 1 from verse 74, Luke 1, 74, look at what the Bible says there. The scripture says, it says that you, that he will grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear. So when there is fear, you can't serve God. You can't, you can't do the will of God. You can't fulfill your purpose. You can't fulfill your destiny. That's why fear must go. Let me show you something else again, quickly, from the book of Job, Job chapter 4. Job chapter 4, quickly. In Job chapter 4, the scripture tells us there, I would like you to please turn with me to the book of Job. Job chapter 4. In Job 4, verse 6, verse 14, beg your pardon. In verse 14, it says, Fear came upon me, and trembling, which made all my bones to shake. Fear came upon me, and trembling, which make all my bones to shake. Fear blindfolds. Fear blindfolds. Fear brings confusion. Fear must go. Fear must be destroyed. You see me speaking passionately like this, because I know fear is terrible. Fear can paralyze. Fear can make somebody sick. And we're going to pray now. I should pray. Open up your spirit and get excited about today's program because you are going forward. I want to plead with you to please call your friends during the break session after the prayers that they should join. Remind them of a program. And those who are around you, call them to quickly come and sit with you to join this program so that they can be blessed. You will not know, you wouldn't be able to explain how much you would have done them in, by doing them this kind of favor. Let us pray, please. Father in heaven, we are so thankful to you for today's episode. We thank you for all the past ones on fear. Thank you for our, your son, your servant, our guest, Pastor Austin. We want to thank you for his life. Thank you for his family. Thank you especially for all our viewers who are watching across the world. We are praying that God you will bless them. We are praying that God you will deliver every one of us. We are praying that God you will meet them at the point of their needs. We are praying that Lord you will comfort them. You will heal them. You will make them whole. You will set them free. You will do a new thing in their lives that they will go forward. They will fulfill their destinies. They will glorify you. They will be the best you want them to be and they will enjoy their lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Even what you have given to them to enjoy, they will enjoy. They will possess their possessions in the name of Jesus. Thank you for today's episode. Anoint us and let your presence be so mighty and take all the praise. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. We'll go on a short break, please. We'll come back. We'll meet with Pastor Austin. And he will take over straight from there since I already started with the opening.
welcome back. Once again, this is Healing the Hurting, Fulfilling God's Purpose, Glorifying God. We have in the house a wonderful, precious man of God, seasoned man of God. And that's in the person of Pastor Austin Ukaiwe. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. You are welcome once again. Thank you for being I appreciate. with us. Over to you, sir. I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> thank you, sir. Uh, viewers at home, it's another day of deliverance, another day of healing for you yeah. from the spirit yeah. of fear. Yeah. We started the, the last episode looking at the seven effects of fear. And we looked at demoralization. We looked at intimidation, self, low self-esteem. We also looked at paralysis, neurological disorder mm. as an effect of fear. We also looked at uh, silent, no, okay, we stopped at uh, neurological fear. Um, so we're gonna uh, conclude the seven effects of fear by looking at the fourth, fifth, sixth, and the seventh. The fourth is silent testimony. The effects of fear, silent testimony. John chapter 9, verse 22 to 23. John 9, 22 to 23. These words speak his parents because they feared the Jews. For the Jews had agreed already that if any man did confess that he was Christ, he would be put out of the synagogue. Therefore, said his parents, he's of age. Ask him. He will talk to you. See what fear a parent whose child was born blind and suffered so much. And one day, Jesus Christ came and healed this guy. They were supposed to be excited, jumping up, limping and jumping for joy. But they couldn't because of the fear of the Jews. Who had earlier on said, if anybody confesses that Jesus is a healer, the person is out of the temple. So they couldn't because of the fear. Are you afraid of confessing Christ at your place of work? in the marketplace because of what people will, will say about you? Change your mind right now because that fear is leaving you this minute Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Number uh, five, fear can make you to sink or to go down. Mm. Matthew 14, 25 to 32. Mm. Matthew 14, 25 to 32. So we see here the story of Peter. Jesus Christ went to pray on the mountain, came down in the morning, walking on the water. Disciples in the boat saw him walking on the water and they thought he was a, a ghost, a spirit. And in those days, anyone that saw a spirit is, would die. And that's why fear came into them. But Jesus Christ said to them, hey guys, you should not be afraid. Yeah. It is me. And Peter says, if it is you, ask me to come. I also want to walk on water. And then of course, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ said, come. And so he stepped out of the boat to walk to the water. He had faith at the point of walking on water. But the Bible says that the, the, the wind, the devil released the wind that came boisterous. Mm -hmm. And Peter looked away from Jesus Christ and looked at the problem, which was the wind. And the Bible says he began to sink. So you see that faith made him to walk on water, but fear made him to sink mm. in water. Every time that you are afraid, you go down. Fear makes people go down. Mm. Every spirit that will make you go down, this year I rebuke in the name of Amen. Jesus. Number six, fear induces irrational behavior. Fear induces irrational behavior, like madness. You look at the story of Belshazzar in Daniel chapter five, verse one to two, or you can read from verse 1 to 7. Daniel chapter 5, verse 1 to 7. Belshazzar was a king celebrating his birthday. And nothing wrong celebrating your birthday. Mm. The Bible says we should remember our days and our, apply our hearts to wisdom. But he was not wise. He used the cup from the house of God to serve his guests, the cup mm. used for God. And of course, he invited concubines and all kinds of people. And God said, oh, you want to share glory with me? You're drinking with my cup? And so he made him to see what nobody else saw, a hand 
no leg, no head, just hand writing on the wall, and fear came into this uh, king. He began to shake, and he was shouting, look at what is being written. Look at, and people said, well, king, there's nothing. Ha, what? He said, can't you see it? He, for short, he went mad. He started removing his clothes, and before you know it, they had to, he had to find help because of fear. Fear can make you go mad, can make you insane. Every spirit of insanity that's as a result of fear of man or whatsoever, in the name of Jesus, I break it from your life and from your family in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lastly, number seven in the, the causes, fear translates into bondage. When you are afraid, mm. you are in bondage. Mm. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 15. Hebrews 2 15. The Bible says, and deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Mm. Like the, uh, the uh, moderator had uh, told us, when you are under fear, anything can happen to you. Mm. When, when, the, when you see a lizard, you will jump as, oh, they have come from the village. It's just lizard. World gecko. You are afraid of everything because of the spirit of fear. Um, as you begin to develop faith in God and you begin to have Christ in you, the spirit of fear will go in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, so let's quickly now look at the seven instances of fear. Seven instances of fear. We have looked at seven effects of fear. Let's look at seven instances of fear very quickly. The first person that we want to look at here is Abraham. Genesis 20, 11. Abraham, Genesis 20 and 20, 11. And Abraham said, because I thought, surely the fear of God is not in this place. And they will slay me for my wife's sake. Because of fear, Abraham, a whole Abraham that God trusted had to lie at this point in time mm. because he didn't want to, to die. He saw that his wife was so beautiful and people would go after him because of his wife. So he lied. That's an instance of fear. And um, Jacob is another person, another personality, man of God that also suffered from fear. Um, Genesis 32 verse 11. Genesis 32 verse 11. He says, Deliver me, I pray thee, from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau, for I fear him, lest he will come and smite me and the mother with the children. This is Jacob here, had served Laban was going home with two wives, with all, you know, all the goodies, you know, the camels, the everything, and then Esau appeared. You who God led away from home to Laban's place, gave, gave you wives and all that, you couldn't trust in that God. The Bible says, as he saw Esau, yeah. fear came unto him. But he did the right thing. He had to go to God and ask for deliverance. He said, deliver me, I pray thee, yeah. as you ask God to deliver you from the spirit of that fear of anyone, whether it's the woman in the back of your yard or your, your, your witches or wizard or whatsoever, as you ask God this minute, I'm in agreement with you, receive boldness Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Soldiers, a whole soldier can operate in fear also. Matthew 27, 54. Matthew 27, 54. Now when the centurion and they that were with him watching Jesus they saw the earthquake and, and those things that were done, they feared greatly, saying, truly, this was the Son of God. Mm. Because of the manifestation of things that happened, fear came into them. Mm. Whosoever is standing against your progress, against your family this year, there will be a manifestation of the things that will bring fear into them. Amen. And they will leave you and they will run away Amen. in the name Amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. Peter also like we have, uh, we have seen, we will not be able to, um, you know, tw Matthew 26, Matthew 26, 74 to 75, mm -hmm. Matthew 26, 74 to 75. Then began he to curse and to swear, saying, I know not the man. And immediately the cock crew, mm -hmm. and Peter remembered the word of God, word of Jesus, which said unto him, before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. And he went out and he wept bitterly. He wept bitterly. He saw them take Jesus Christ away. 
They all believed that Jesus was invincible. No man can touch Jesus. You know he would disappear last minute, mm. but they caught him. And they were taking him away. And he was following from far behind. And someone saw him and said, look, you are one of them. He said, no, ah, no, please, oh, Mark Obama, I'm not one of them, oh, you know. And he, three times he denied Jesus Christ just because of fear. Mm. What would make you deny Jesus? Mm. Look at the story of Leah Sharibu. Leah Sharibu was the only one. They said, denounce Jesus Christ. He said, I will never. 14 year old girl, and she's been celebrated all over. Last week on camp here, Mom Gio was there. You know, Daddy was the one that autographed the, the book written on, on Leah. Daddy, I bought the book, you know, uh, on Sunday. You know, a, a girl that stood for Jesus Christ. She said, I would rather die. I would rather die. But Peter was afraid. Thank God he was restored anyway. And later on, he stopped being afraid. So uh, we find Peter there. Uh, Peter, the second time, <laughs> Peter also exercised, which I had mentioned before, Matthew 14, 25 to 32. Matthew 14, 25 to 32, when they saw Jesus Christ walking on water. Um, there was three th reasons why G Peter could, shouldn't have been afraid. Number one, he had the, what I call the three A's, the A, three A's, the atmosphere for miracle. Peter was in an atmosphere of miracle because Jesus Christ was there. It, anywhere Christ is, there is, it's an atmosphere for miracle. Number two, Peter had the ability. He had ability to walk on water because he had legs. He had ability. And number three, he had authority. Authority, Jesus Christ said, come. That was authority. So he had the three A's. The atmosphere was good, ability was there, and, um, and then, of course, he had the authority. But in spite of that, um, he, he still doubted. Mm. And then he began to sink until Jesus Christ called him and brought him up, and then he walked on water. And you will walk on water in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, Job, lastly, bless <laughs> Job, because of fear, uh, if you look at Job chapter 3, verse 25, Job says, what I am afraid has happened to me. What was he afraid? Not to lose his children. He still lost them anyway. All the 10 children, they died because of fear. What I feared most has finally what, happened. Yeah, what I feared most. So that was, ah, that's what you have to do. I'll take that one from you. He lost all the ten children. But thank God, in Job 42, there was restoration of all the ten children. You don't have to wait and suffer, you know, loss of stuff before you begin to act in faith. Lastly, for that, 1 Samuel 30, 21, you can look at that. 1 Samuel 30, 21 is the story of David um, against the Amalekites. You know, after he had he'd been driven by the Philistines, he came back, they took his wife, took his children, took everything, 1 Samuel 30, and he asked God, can I pursue? God said, pursue. Can I overtake? He said, overtake. Can I recover? He said, we'll recover. And, but there were, you know, out of 600, 400 were afraid and said, we will not be able to go, and they stayed behind, and they lost out of that episode. Because they went, they overtook, they recovered everything, minus those 400 people. Be counted for Jesus Christ. Receive faith in the name of Jesus. The, the 400 fearful. 400 fearful. They didn't have the testimony, no of, testimony. Of, of, of going. They stayed back. Only 200 went. They stayed went. back. Yeah. They stayed back. They stayed back. Mm. They couldn't go forward. They couldn't go forward. They couldn't go forward. They lost out of the testimony. Wow. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Viewers, um, you will not go back. Amen. You will Jesus not stay name. back. Amen. You and I will go forward. Amen. We will move forward. We will we'll press on. Amen. We will reach where God wants us to reach. Amen. We will fulfill what God wants us to fulfill. Amen. Those testimonies and achievements that God wants us to have, we shall have them in Jesus' Amen. name. You know, and then also, you say, what I feared most has finally come unto what me. I fear so what are those things that you are fearing so mm. much mm. about? Mm. The devil uses what we fear mm. to actually oppress us, to keep us in bondage, to attack True. us, to threaten us, to frighten us, mm. and to make us to be subject to him. Mm. Don't let, don't have a fear. Mm. But if you have any fear on anything, don't even let it any mean your, your fear. Mm. Because the enemy will use what you fear to torment to you, torment you mm. to attack you. Mm. Now, I want there are a few scriptures I want us to quickly read before we close. Yes, sir. Psalm 34, verse 4. What is the way out of fear or to victory? He yeah. says, I sought the Lord and he, and he heard me mm. and delivered me from all my, my fears. fears. Mm. Staying in his presence, mm. seeking the Lord, mm. 
seeking his presence, seeking mm. his help. Say, I sought the Lord. Mm. I sought the Lord. Mm. Sought seeking him in prayers, mm. seeking him in hearing from him, mm. seeking his help. I say, and he delivered me from all my fears. Mm. You too shall be delivered from all your fears mm. in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. Actually, we have a session of seven solutions. Seven solutions. Well, hopefully, some, some, if God permits, we'll be able permits, to do yeah. that. Seven yeah. solutions. And then also Psalm 56, verse 4. It says, something, it says, in God, I will praise his word. In God, I have put my trust. Mm. I will not fear what flesh can do to me. unto me. Mm. I will praise his word. I will praise his word. So magnify the word of God mm. above your fear. Mm. And then you have faith. Amen. And then it says, I will put my trust in him. So put your trust in God. Mm. And then you will not be afraid of what anybody can do. Mm. Then the next one I want us to read is found in um, the book of Isaiah, chapter 26, verse 3. It says, Thou will keep him in perfect, perfect peace, yeah. whose mind he stayed in he stayed mm. on thee, because he trusted in thee. Mm. When you have no fear, you have peace. Mm. When you have fear, you lose your peace. <clears throat> so it says it will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind, mind stayed, stayed on him. On him. Mm. So let your mind stay on God. Mm. Let your mind stay on his word. Mm. Let your mind stay on his power. Mm. Rest your hope and your confidence in his strength. Mm. In his strength, in his ability, in his provisions. Know that the Lord will supply for all your needs. Mm. Know that he's the El Shaddai. Know that for with God all things are possible. Know that he's the Almighty. He's the big breasted one. Mm. Remember always yeah, that he's a man of war. He's the Lord of hosts. Remember that he has never lost in any war before. Just remember that he's mighty in battle, strong and mighty. Remember also, put your hope that he's your healer. Is the Lord God that healed thee, mm. and it's your salvation, it's your refuge, it's your shield. As long as you do this, you will always have perfect peace, and your fear will be gone. So, this is where we're going to stop today because it's a very big topic. Mm. I hope we can still have one more session on this topic of fear. But if we don't, we hope the Lord will grant you the grace to be able to trust God. Prayers, praise, word. Prayer, praise, word. And trust in God. And live a holy life. And you'll be free from fear. Amen. And God will give you total victory. Amen. And if you do have all this for this, and you still have fear, ask for God to deliver you, to deliver you from the spirit of fear. Mm. We're going to pray now. Mm -hmm. As many who have been tormented, ask God to set you from the spirit of fear. And ask God to give you victory. That God will help you to put your mind on him. Our pastor will pray. And those who want to give the light to Christ, please do so right now. Father in heaven, we are grateful unto you for another opportunity in Thank your presence. You, no man cometh into your presence and live the same. We believe and we trust absolutely in you. We receive faith like a giant to conquer fear in the name of Jesus. Amen. And for all those who have listened, our Lord and our God, according to your word, Isaiah 10, 27, you said it shall come to pass in that day, and today is that day. The burden shall be removed oh, from yes. their shoulders and the yoke from their neck. You said that yoke shall be destroyed oh, yes. by the anointing. Oh, yes. This is the anointing that destroy, destroys the yoke of fear in the lives of our listeners in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. We decree that from now on, O oh God Almighty, faith like a giant will come upon them in the name of Jesus. Amen. And for those who have surrendered their lives to Christ, you will not go back again. Amen. Today your name is written in the book of life Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And fear will stop being a master over you and your home in the name of Jesus. Amen. And for all of us, when you are at your appearing, count us worthy to reign with you. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Father. We give you all the praise. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Remember, no more fear of tomorrow, no more fear of what to eat, what to drink. He will provide for you. Amen. Remember that if God be for you, who can be Amen. against you? Amen. Romans chapter 8 Mm. Verse 31. Mm. If God be for us, 
who can be against us. Stop being afraid. It is well with you. So we call it a day today. See you same time next week on Healing the Hurting, Fulfilling God's Purpose, Glorifying God. I want to appreciate all the members of the crew. I want to thank you so much. Thank Dode Vidya. I want to appreciate you. I want to thank the producer, the directors, everyone and the executive, everybody that has blessed us today. I want to appreciate you. God bless you real good. I want Amen. to appreciate that guest. God bless you, sir. Thank, thank you, you sir. so much. And our viewers, remain wonderfully blessed. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.